Hey, what's up everybody? Yes, it's me and Lloyd. So guess what time it is? Oh, look at, you can already see what time it is. It's that time of the month. It is pup box time. Yes, oh look at, something must be real good in there. He's already trying to chew it and everything. I mean, just the box itself is pretty cool for puppies to, you know, chew because, I mean, what grown dog doesn't like, you know, cardboard boxes anyways, if it was a grown dog. So if a grown dog does, um, puppies do too. So, but we wanna see what's in this box. So, I'm gonna put that right there. And yeah, don't, don't, yeah, let's see. We don't wanna go too far, let's see. Cause yeah, mm -hmm. don't, don't put your bottom to the camera though. Let's scooch over here. <laughs> let's scooch it over here and see what's in this box. I'm a little scared. Oh my gosh, you really do want one. Okay, first of all, this, oh my gosh. This is great for teething. And funny thing is, I have a ball kind of like this for my foot. But this is more puppy proof and better. And this, oh my gosh, he's been wanting this. Because he always tries to grab that thing. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he got this. Fun thing. And oh my goodness, okay, he's been needing some rope toys because Lloyd loves rope toys. And this is even better. Oh my word, this is cute as a co Okay, hold on, hold on, hon. Look at, show the camera. I know, you can have it totally now. Like, I can take the tag off in a second. But it's a koala, if you didn't see, because he definitely wants that, like, now. Um, with the rope. So, I mean, anything rope, he's all about. Uh-oh, let's not knock the, knock the... <laughs> <laughs> camera off yep you can take that too I gotta take um, tags off and everything um here is our monthly puppy guide everything you know this, this has teaching your puppy to sit stand and lie down which that's actually what we've been working on for probably close to a couple months now um, we're working on stay so um let's see what else does it have socializing and all that which definitely we've been working on that too as well oh my word uh-uh I didn't even know did you just see that okay I did not know that that thing lights up but that's pretty cool um and it's pretty puppy sized so like I'm sure you know obviously things that light up and go in the dark I'm extra careful about but uh, I'm sure with pup box it is. I mean, obviously I'll read about it, but I'm pretty guaranteed sure that it's everything's okay. Because, um, you know, like some stuff that weird liquids and dyes and things like that. But that's, I've never had anything go wrong with this before. So that is amazing. Um, uh, let's see here. What do we, I'm Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. The teething rings, I've seen this advertised, but we've never used it and I almost bought this one time before and did not. Super excited because teething rings, like, perfect time. I mean, four month old puppy, come on now. So yay, cannot wait. In fact, the flavor, let me see here really quick. Um, so it's moderate, which is good because he's kind of, I mean, he's teething, but he's gotten better. So that's, something really gross. Where is the flavor though? Oh, pumpkin flavored. Ooh, which he does like pumpkin. Some dogs don't though, so be aware of that. He's totally fine with it. Oh, and that thing squeaks too? Wow, that is a fancy toy. Like, come on now. Y'all look at this. Like, I've never, I mean, this is better than like kids toys for sure. Just saying. Um, oh my gosh. This is so crazy. Pup Box like totally knows you, Lloyd. Doggy biscuits. Oh yes, blueberries. Blueberries, in case you didn't know, are great for dogs' eyes. Um, this is duck and blueberries, which he absolutely loves duck treats. Like, that's, um, I'm almost done with this bag, actually. Duck is one of his favorite things. So, duck and blueberry. Super excited about that. Um, and oh, so, Flamingo, funny thing is, he loves this other flamingo toy that I have, and that's a rope toy, which, this is great because it's kind of ropish, but it's also, I don't know, um, this is more, what is that material? Like, it's, it's a rope, but it's more tethered, tied in tighter rope, so that's super exciting because he loves flamingos. That is definitely, um, and he loves 
this color pink on toys too. Um, and yeah, I gotta cut these tags off, which is really funny because they're selling and you're like, what in the world? Yeah, no, we don't, we, we don't want that. We, we, that's, 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 we don't want that. We don't want that. That's, that's just, yeah, we don't want that. Um, so he's gonna absolutely love us too. Like this is such a great pop box. Like they seriously know my dog. Yeah, exactly, which is the best thing ever. Um, let me just do this really quick. Um, oh, this is really cool. So this is um, a Love Lost Reuniting Pets, which is something really great. Um, what are you doing, dude? Yeah, um, right here. You want to see the box? Like, yeah, go for it over there. Out of the camera for a second, honey. Um... So they're advertising uh, where you go and you just uh, upload a picture of your dog. Everything pups. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, where this is really good because if you ever have your dog becomes lost and you need to post pictures, which hopefully your dog is microchipped because that's the best way to go, but not everybody's necessarily familiar with that. I mean, if you're a typical dog person, you are, but um, if you happen to see a dog and they're like, ooh, this dog, and bam, looks like that, and missing, this is like a little foundation where uh, they can connect with lost pets of dogs that have been found, which is amazing. Always good for that. Um, and it's National Lost Pet Prevention Month. Did not know that. The weeks fell on July, 20, or July 4th are often the busiest, yes, which makes sense. I mean, people with fireworks, firecrackers, dogs are not fans, but, you know, people insist on doing them with, which, I mean, whatever, like, do your thing, not a big deal, but when you do them by your puppy or adult dog, not necessarily smart, because it's not typically a dog's favorite thing to do and listen to. They will typically run, um, you know, and get separated from their parents, which is not good. Um, also, outdoor festivities or while they're on vacation, unfamiliar places, they get scared. Um, yeah, I always think that's a sad thing when a you know a dog runs away because of something like that that a human can totally prevent, which you know is sad. But this is just basically saying be aware of that. So that's awesome, and that is it. What is in this uh, month of the pup box? So. Lloyd is already um, having a blast up here, which I have to take off that tag um, right away because, as you can see, he's just chewing, 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 chewing. So I got to take this tag off, and um, yeah, that is this four month old pup box. So we will talk to you soon. Have a nice Sunday night. Talk to you later.